asked a question towards the end. I'm just I've just started recording, and Khushwan says that I have Khushwan. Was it you? Please correct me if I'm wrong. You said that uh, uh, that uh, uh, I found on internet that uh, Tim Berners Lee invented web. He did not invent internet, while as windsurf invented internet, not the uh, the the web. Was that was that you, Khushwan? If I remember correctly. Uh, yes. Okay. So, Khushwan, that was very something very interesting and very good, and I would like to discuss. Or I'll I'll just start my class from there, because it's a very important concept, and I will start from there. So, I'm just turning turning on the Okay, let me just take my meeting to the other screen and let me share my screen. Okay, so we are starting from what uh, what Kushwant asked in last class. First of all, uh, again, I would just one last time I'd like to say welcome to everyone, and I hope you will enjoy today's lecture a lot more than the last last one. And one thing, uh, I think it was some student who, who who told me that please go a bit slow. So at times I have tendency to become very fast. <laughs> so please remind me whenever you find something like that. And if you feel that I'm going very fast, you just remind me so that I can adjust myself in terms of speed. All right. So this was our lecture that we started. And yes, this was the confusion that happened over here. Okay, there are some chat window messages. Okay, Devam. Devam, welcome. I welcome you all. Um, yes, so Devam, you have not missed too much, but you can always go and find out the recordings if you are able to find that recordings. If you're not, I'll I'll just try to uh, like you know uh, make you find that recording. Uh, yes, I I send I I have seen your email, Devam. I'll discuss it with you like maybe in today's break or maybe after the class, right, Devam? So I'll let you know that how you how you will be. Okay, so yes, so there is a confusion, and you know we also trapped on that confusion, especially myself. <laughs> if you if you see their shirts, what what does Tim Berners Lee say? Tim Berners Lee say I did not invent the internet. He is really right. He did not invent the internet. So we were confused. You know, this is one confusion that always happens between the World Wide Web and the internet. Let me just clarify everything. Tim Berners Lee says I did not invent the internet. Windsurf says I did not invent the web. They are both right. They are both telling a truth. Why? Windsurf, this person with, with, with a small beard, this person invented basically internet. He is considered as to be the father of internet. Yes, he was considered to the father of internet. While on the person on his left side, Tim Bernard Lee, he is considered to be the father of web. And Typically speaking, father of HTML. You remember I told you that web browsers were born in early 90s. In early 90s, this was the person, the responsible Tim Berners Lee, who invented the, the, the HTML, who developed HTML, and alongside he developed the web, World Wide Web. So please clarify. There was some some confusion last time, and I I I said the wrong thing. And I will be always very happy, as Kushwan has mentioned, if you can always come up with some suggestions and you say that you said something, I found something else. So most of the times, sometimes there are confusions. Sometimes, yes, that happens. That happened in last class that I was wrong at that time. So now I'm correcting it. Please correct it. And for that, for that purpose, let's uh, let's see a few things so that you you might have that. I'm just opening this term, Tim Berners Lee. It's also known as in English computer science is best known for his inventor of World Wide Web. So please be very clear now. And again, I'm just also correcting myself that yes, Tim Berners Lee is father of WWW World Wide Web. Not only that, if you see, uh, he proposed an information management system on 12th. So, so implemented the first successful communication between the HTTP, HTTP. Hypertext Transfer Protocol or HTTP. He, they have mentioned Hypertext Transfer Protocol, HTTP, and server via internet in mid-November. So he he has done a lots of lots of things. On the other hand, as I was saying, I will today just go about everything. Windsurf, and if you see Windsurf, and 
His achievement is an American internet pioneer and is recognized as one of the fathers of internet. Mother is not known. <laughs> okay, a, a very interesting question to computer science people. You know who is called the mother of uh, programming languages? Anyone? A very interesting name. She is, she is generally, oh yes, John, thank you very much. Uh, John, can you can you tell the complete name of Ada? John has done a very good job. John, this is right. Ada is considered as the mother of programming languages. Uh, can you can you can you tell the complete name of Ada? If you can find that, or maybe it was Lady Augusta Ada Lovelace. Maybe this was the complete name. If I'm not wrong, let's quickly see that. Ada Lovelace. Let's see if I can find out. Yes. So. Uh, even it's more than that. Augusta, Ada King, countless of loveless. So this was, uh, but generally the 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 popular name for or for her is Augusta Ada Lovelace. Generally, so she's considered as. And yes, someone said that isn't Ada language. Khushwant, you are right. Ada is also because of her name. It was it was considered as a as a you know a, as a language as well. It was just you know realized as a as a language as well. So all things clear. Okay, that's why programming languages are difficult to understand. <laughs> Risham, I don't want to create this uh, this uh, discussion over here. <laughs> okay, so yes, so basically this was the, so please 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 bear in mind. Uh, it was it was a it was a horrible mistake on my side as well, and I would like to thank Kushwant for that for that that Kushwant has corrected us. Kushwant, best of luck and thank you very much. Okay, now we have to done. We have to do something very interesting. You remember we were talking about last when we left our class. We were talking about the ports. I hope you remember that we were talking about the ports, and we said that if there is a HTTPS, we are talking about the 443 port, and if it is something which is not HTTPS, rather HTTP only, which is not secure HTTP, that is basically we are talking about a, a, a port 80. That is port 80. You remember we, we we left at this point. Everyone remembers that this was the last discussion that we made that we are talking about the ports and ports were yes. Thank you, thank you, Kashwant. And okay, so today we are about to start something another very interesting part. Now see here, there is one one more thing. Origin, origin is combining the protocol domain and port. What do you mean by protocol domain? So you see here, protocol HTTPS domain. You remember domain. The easy name for that difficult IP address, it.seneca.college, uh, seneca and the port. Now, if we combine all these three, this collectively is called origin. Please bear in mind and try to remember that. That is called origin. Combining the protocol, domain and port give us a unique origin, HTTPS, ICT, which is, you know, port is usually not mentioned. So it is not mentioned over here. But you you should you should keep in mind that that port is also over here. And which port is over here? I hope you know 443. Why? Because we are talking about HTTPS. So there are different ports on which data trans, uh, transfers. Origin plays a central role in the web security model. So please bear in mind that this origin, this combination of protocol, this combination of domain, this combination of port, this gives us a lots of security features. No one should be able to. For example, I am searching, I am right now visiting ict.senecacollege.ca and someone else want to get you know, access to my information maybe or something else. I don't want it to happen. So again, everything that will be coming from this origin will be considered as a, as a trustful thing for a, for a web browser when I am searching this one. When I am basically, when I have turned on this, this like for example, if you see here, so starting from this one to this one, this will be called as origin. Now origin is what? HTTPS colon forward slash web 222.ca. This will be called origin and anything. And you know, there is something else as well here. If I, if I ask you, and what is that? Again, 443 over here. And what is that? This is basically the port number. And you know, if I, if I do that, it won't make any effect. Why? Because the port is technically over there. So this makes it origin. And alongside this website, when I'm accessing this, Everything coming from this one will be considered as a as a trusted source, trusted resource. Otherwise, nothing will be considered as a trusted resource. Off topic. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, Jason, I will I will just let you know maybe after some after some time. I'll let you know. I've I've noted your question. I'll I'll tell you that uh, what are the dates and everything. 
uh, you, you will be clear about it. Anyway, okay. Okay, so that is origin. And then we have a path. Path is you are very much familiar with the path as you see path in the windows when there is a when, when there is a folder and then folder and there are there are certain things inside a file system like path to resource on the server. It may or may not be end with a file extension. For example, you might also have seen another server user uses score slash web 222.html. So you know this is called a path and this plays a very important role in web development. And I will let you know that how it plays a very, very important role in web development. Now, now we have to do another another very interesting and another very uh, you know uh, fun thing over here. So you remember last time we used our command prompt and okay. So last time we used our command prompt and I want I want all of you to just open up the command prompt and we we need to we need to look few things because we are talking about the URLs right now and URLs are very very important part of understanding when you are discussing the web development. And I want to discuss few very, very important concepts related to the URL. And not only this, I would like all of you to, to, to download one software that we'll be using right now. Okay, what is that software? It's curl. All of you just write down this curl download and go to the curl. And please download this curl. Maybe if, if I just if I just give you its first page before curl. Uh, this one. So this one is curl. And it's a command line tool and library for transferring data with URLs. We have to play with the URLs. So I want all of you to just go and install this curl in your system. I'm waiting for everyone. Just try now to install it. Alongside, I will be discussing my topic. So this is this represents, and this through this, we can play and we can do a lots of things with our URLs. So you can go to the download and then you can find whatever, whatever is available for your for your system. You can just download it and download. Uh, and 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 be ready with it. This is Linux based. This is Linux. If you are working on Linux, if you are working on Mac, if you are working on Windows, you will find one for Windows as well. If you see here, Windows 32 bit, Windows 64 bit. So you just download this curl project. Should I expect that all of you are about to download this or downloading already? Curl. Yes. I need some 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 responses that okay Alex, thank you very much for your response. So I'm I'm waiting for you to. Oh, it's it's basically if you are working on Windows, you have to just you know just see here. Just you 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 uh, this binary you have to you have to download binary not libcurl. You can download binary. Right. So is there anyone who is not on Windows right now? Maybe on Mac or something. In our this class. Okay, Max, uh, Alex, you are, but but you you will be familiar with all those things. Though, the differences between that. Yulia is also on. Audrey is also on Mac. Okay, Rishab, you are on window. If you are on Windows and you are on 64 bits, you have to select this one. Okay, Deva is also on Mac. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay, try. try. I'm, I'm just about to tell you. Uh, can can everyone just confirm me that you have they have downloaded the curl when they are ready? When everyone is ready with the curl, because we have to look up. Uh, we have to just use few things related to curl. Uh, Sufyan says my file won't open. Okay, Sufyan, what is that? If you can just uh, let us know what is the problem. Like, uh, what what is the message that it gives you? Okay, Khushwant, this is good. Oh, you have done the extraction. Just wait for me. Wait for me. Rajveer is done. That's good. Sufyan, can you tell us what is the problem? Like, what is the error that you're getting? So that we can just try to find out what's going on. Okay, John is also ready. That's very good. It gives me a security warning. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I think it looks like sometimes some some operating systems or some uh, you know some your security blockers sometimes sometimes defend is yes yes sometimes they they become annoying. Uh, 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 okay, Vishwa, you are also unable to unable to download that because of this issue. Hmm. 
Okay, so Sufyan, are you on uh, like Sufyan and Vishwa? Are you on Windows or Mac? Okay, Sufyan is on Windows. Um, okay, so let's see. Vishwa is also on Windows 64. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, looks like it should not be. Windows 64 is blocking it. Mm -hmm. I see. Righto. The sharp says it's not working. Okay. Uh, Khushwant, yes, I I think you you you. So Khushwant is right. Looks like you you'll have to just uh, you know this. Okay. Yes. Can you can you Khushwant help 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 Sufyan out that how to disable that window defender? It must be in your security and just hold on. Okay. I'm just letting you know. Yeah, so this is your Defender Firewall, and you can just go and update the security and settings, yes. OK, so you just wait for me, like after downloading it, uh, Love. I'm, I'm just about to discuss. What was the extension? ZLM, what extension you are talking about? Uh, uh, you are talking about the software name, or maybe? This is curl. OK, after expecting you have, you don't have to run anything. Uh, if you, all of you who have just just run that, can can they just all come and see curl? If you just write out curl maybe here, HTTP forward slash Wikipedia dot org. If you just write that, and if it does not give you any error, it means your curl is working. Okay, Lushin, we'll see that. First of all, those who have successfully run uh, reach here, I'm I just want if something nothing is happening, if it's not giving error. Jonah, this is good. Jonah, it's same like in mine, like your Windows is same. Like. It works, that's good. Works for me. Okay, Jason is also same. Mark is working. Okay, so Andre is helping out the Macs. Mac people use Brew to install it. Okay, Samuel, this is good. Justin, it's good. Right. Okay, now I want to show you something very. Okay, uh, I'm expecting everyone to be running, but again, if there is some problem, Sufyan, are you able to work that out? Okay, Vishwa, this this means you are you are doing successful. That's very good. That's very good, Vishwa. And how about Sufyan? Uh, Sufyan, I'm waiting for your response. Is it? Oh, you are trying to. Okay, Sufyan, looks like you're the only one. I'll come back to you, but first, let me. Let me just discuss with few people that what. So you first, so if you look at it, and as you know that this is all recording. So sometimes if you if you miss out something, hopefully you will get it back. I'll just do few things and then I'll come back to you. Maybe we can mutually try to find uh, solve solve that problem out. Okay, now you use curl and use this command include, and I'll let you know that what is what is that include and how what we are doing. Wikipedia. Dot org. Yes, everyone, please just write uh, like write this down. And again, if you are getting the same output, you can just write same. Almost the same output if you are looking at like mine. Same. This is good. G. Uh, Adrian says the same. Good. Good. That's very good. Okay, that's good. Okay. So if you keep on trying, if you if maybe if if you have become successful sometimes, that would be very good. But again. I will come back to you definitely. Okay, I want all of you. Uh, I'm expecting that everyone is is able to run, is not recognized. Okay, so Mark, that means you have not extracted curl or you have not properly installed curl. Uh, Khushwant, what is different about your uh, your uh, like output? Khushwant, can you just write down that output? What is that? Uh, Jacob, same means what? Are you are you saying same to? Okay, no shield is not able to open it. No problem. I'll just see that. Okay, uh, who else? Who else? Oh, okay, okay. So it's it's basically Khushwant. You are getting this. This is correct output. This is com complete correct output. I'll let you know what is that problem. But curl worked. Mark curl worked. And how how it worked? Like what is what is the output it is giving? Maybe it is different. Maybe it will be resembling to mine, or maybe it will be resembling to Khushwant's. Both cases it is fine. It is good. 
Okay, that's very good. Uh, and can can I ask Sufyan also include is not recognized as an internal or external command? Okay, the kernel is not recognizing include. Uh, that should have you have you taken care of the spaces uh, love the spaces or something maybe if you are not. Let me just show you the command again. Uh, love says, yeah, same for me. Love, I'm not understanding because one time you are saying include is not recognized. Second time you are saying same for me. What does that mean? Hmm. And how about Sufyan? Any any progress, Sufyan? Okay, I missed the curl before the control. Okay, <laughs> did you open the command with curl or just just? Okay, no, no, it's, it's basically with curl, with curl. Okay, Sufyan, you just wait for maybe five more minutes, and then I will, uh, I may, I might put you in a breakout room, and then I will discuss it with you. Don't worry, right? I'll put you in breakout room, and then I'll, uh, I'll ask you to share your screen, and then we can discuss that, Sufyan. You got my point? Okay, so Sufyan, just don't worry about it. Okay. So now see here, I, I want to discuss a few things and then I'll be just moving on to, to help Sufyan out. Now see here, uh, when, when we do curl, we are basically asking something. So over the internet, we are always, you know, there is a request response model on internet. So whenever we are accessing something, uh, okay, okay. Is it, is it, is it some better uh, like uh, Maru? Or now is it better? Okay, okay. So now, see, see here. Uh, whenever you are asking something on internet, we are basically trying to access something. Now, see here. Here is something that is very interesting. I would like all of you, Sufyan, you two also to please concentrate on that because you are right now not running it, but you can understand what is going on. So when you run this curl command, include and include this include includes the header of that data when it is coming. When I did curl without anything, it was just, you know, bringing up that curl uh, like data and it was not doing anything else or anything else. Now, when we include this hash include, it is also bringing up the headers. Now, what is this header? So, first of all, if you see HTTP, you remember HTTP is what? Is a protocol, hypertext transfer protocol slash 1.1. 1.1 is one of the version of HTTP. Then there is a code 301. Now, let me tell you something interesting. Web codes, um, like you know, you know, HTTP codes. Sorry, HTTP codes. If you write in HTTP codes, and if you open it, okay. Now you see here. I'll just show you. I'll just show you something interesting. Three zero one. Okay, that's very good. Yes, three zero one. It it says moved permanently. It means the URL that we are trying to access has been moved somewhere else. I hope you are getting that. So this is something called, these are called the web codes. Successful response is always 200 OK. And 201 created, 202 accepted, 200, something like that. And you remember one of the very popular one, 404.404.com. You would have seen this one a lots of lots of time. And now today, from today, from this class, you must all be familiar with all these terminologies very clearly. That if you are getting this 404 address, see here, the server cannot find the requested resource in the browser. This in the browser, this means the URL is not recognized. In the in an API, this also means that the endpoint is valid, but the resource itself does not exist. So it means server is fine, but you cannot get the file because the file is corrupted or file is not found on the server. This is very important thing what I'm just about to say. When you when you get a 404 message. It means you are connected to the server. Server is trying to give you service. But the problem you see here in an API, this can also mean that the endpoint is valid. The server or the, the, the where you are going to get the location, get the data at the location, it is valid. But the resource itself does not exist. Resource is not being found. Maybe it's corrupted. Maybe it's not there. OK, and now how about this one? A 5-0 message. 5-0. And let's talk about uh, 503, maybe. Yes, this was 503 or 50 message. Uh, Maruk, you are asking what is endpoint? OK, Maruk, you, uh, the endpoint here, you can consider it as, for example, the 
the ultimate location from where you had to get data from. For example, you wanted to have www.google.com. So Google server is being accessed. You are able to access the Google server. You are able to reach to Google server, but the Google website that you are trying to access does not exist. Maru got my point. The endpoint means the, 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 the place. Okay. Oh, that's very good, Sophia. That's very good. So now your turn is working. This is very good. So Sophia, now pay attention over here. When you get a message of 503, when you get a message of 503, look what is happening. The server is not ready to handle the request. So what is the difference between 404 and 503 or 50 something? Like again, in a generic form, what is the difference between four messages, 400 messages and 500 messages? So if you if someone asks you in general, please bear in mind that whenever a 400 message occurs, it means there is something wrong with the resource, but you are able to access the endpoint, but you are able to access the server. And if that error message is 500 something, that means uh, the server is not ready, that there is some problem with server. There is something going wrong with the server. I hope that uh, I hope you are you are uh, you are making the sense out of it. Does that make sense to everyone? OK, the server meaning there and right. Yes, exactly. The end or the or, or or the or the system that had to provide the service is basically not capable of doing that right now. Maybe server is down because of something. Maybe so 500 message tell you server problem 400. And you know, this is one very tricky question that even Google asked in their interview. <laughs> let me let me tell you a very interesting thing. A few of my friends, few of my students, they, when they appeared for the interview, and they said that they asked that, uh, okay, if there is some problem, and uh, this problem is of such kind, that for example, the server is not ready to uh, provide something, what type of error it would be? Are you getting this? So you have to reply, okay, this would be 500 type of error. If server is, the, is that the problem. And if, if they say, if they ask you a question, that uh, the server is okay, the endpoint is okay, but you are still not getting the resource. What type of error it is? I hope you are getting this point. I'm trying to give you a very important, like, you know, uh, the interview point questions as well here, over here. You you understand that? So if maybe you may, you may be asked in an interview that what type of, okay, yes. So what type of error has happened? For example, if it is a server error, error or it is a resource error, you know, you can just, uh, you can just combine that in that way. That, that there is a server error, there is something called a yeah, yes. So if there's a server error, it would be 500. And if it, uh, it is an error resource based, like I am unable to access the resource, server is ready, server is doing everything good, but the resource is not found, that means it's a 400 error. Yes, Mark, that's very good. Okay, so I hope you, you, have, you, have, you have enjoyed this description. Now, there is something interesting. So it says that TLS redirect, it means 301 is the code that says that the, the resource has been moved. Okay, and there is, there will be a location will be given over here. You see, it is giving that location, right? So it, what was missing in our previous one? S was missing missing in our previous one. So let, let's now try to do that. Uh, no, no, it's, it's not that, it's basically S also. Yes, you are right, maybe if you if you want, you can just add that as well, uh, Jono. But I'm just, I'm telling you this is HTTPS, right? Now do curl. Okay, we are getting the same response that some student was getting some time before. You know, someone showed me that I'm getting the a different response, but that response was something like this. Can you confirm that? There was some student who was saying that we are getting the same, a different response. Yes, this was. It was Khushwant. So Khushwant, yes, now you see that this is the, this is the response that you were getting. Now see here, what is happening? It's a very interesting one. It says 301, still it is giving 301, it means we are not successfully still able to access that and it is again saying move permanently what does that mean it means there is something still wrong with the with the with the url now come here you see the location over here https www what is missing www from our our anyhow i will go i will go that but before that if you see these are all the header information and what is that header information that let you know that what is the type of uh, uh, what is the type of uh, software someone web browser someone is using and what is the type of text which is coming text slash html there is the html set coming up and there's a chart set you know in standard chart sets character sets again what is the age of the document and things like that and what is cookie we'll discuss that cookie and what what is that all, all those things but see here it is also providing us some body do you see here those who are familiar with html do you know this is the html all html program but again, it is running not in our usual web browser, 
it is running over here in our in our you know uh, in our okay let's do one thing you just all copy this one control c uh, hopefully i've copied it i don't know if it is copied or not okay i'm just taking notepad let's see if i can paste that yes i can paste that you copy and paste that one everyone in a notepad are you done everyone and now you save this document now save this document and save this document with what name you save it you can save it anywhere i am just saving it right now on my desktop just for nothing and you know what you have to name it just keep in mind you have to name it uh sufyan you know why you are not getting that body because you have not used https in your curly statement okay sufyan i'll i'll come back to you and you can name it for example index and the uh, the the uh, extension should be dot html and you can do this all files as well from the one right index dot html or you can name it anything anything i am naming it web 32 sorry 222 dot html but extension should be html got everyone now save it now i will minimize everything and you see you will find uh, for example any browser uh, my browser is right now internet edge you will find that internet explorer type of thing and double click on it it's asking me to open in what for example i open it in edge i want to open it in edge it will open quickly shortly oh where is that one okay Okay, where is that gone? Okay, let me just try it one more time. okay so can you people hear me now uh can you people hear me now yes okay thank you thank you very much all right so do you do you all see this html over here do you all see this html over here like again i was i, I was missed out and i was on my other system but again i did not see the messages okay that's very good so you know what we have done we have we have made our first web page today <laughs> it's not something that we have made what we have done is that we have copied it from the curly command uh, from the from our command and i just copied and pasted this one into my web browser and you know someone is asking maybe that what, what is the extension extension should be dot html everyone is good with it because now i am i'm back very much back and hopefully if you are able to if you were able to see this moved to permanently something and it is giving the address that where it has moved to but we are not going to that address you just close that one and come back to this one and now see here what we have to do you write curl include right https and www dot oh 
Okay, Wikipedia dot org. Now you type this one. Okay, when you type this one, you get a whole lots of lots of data from back from in, uh, from from your browser. And you know what is this? Let me just tell you a very interesting thing. That is basically the code of this page that you are looking at it. This is all the code of that page. Okay, Maruk, I'm just telling you. Maruk, there is nothing else I've done. What I've done is that I've just used the right name. Look, look here. I've just used the right name. Curl dash in, dash dash include https wikipedia dot Okay. Now you see that we are looking at the same page, which is like this one. So do you realize that this page, if you see it in curl, this is the page that we are getting. Are, are, is everyone getting this page? Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, that's very good. That's very good. okay. And we can do one more thing. There is one more command that we can use to make it a bit more ac acceptable. Then you will come to know we, we want to discuss something interesting. I'm just making it a bit short. You can use this command curl and instead of double dash, now use a single dash and use a capital I. A capital I. Everyone, please, capital I. And now press OK. Enter. Now you see, we are only talking about the header. Now it is not giving us the data alongside headers. It's only giving us the header. This dash capital I will give us only headers. And now the first thing that you see is very interesting. What is this? This is 200. And what does that mean, Rajvi? What is that 200 means? Jason, what, is, what does that 200 mean? What the, the 200 that we are looking at right now? What does that mean? Ah, yes, it means OK. You see, OK. And it means that the source is found. The source is correct. And it is returning the right thing. Yes, Rishab, very nice. Rishab, getting my concepts? Getting, getting all, everything that we are discussing right now? OK, that's very good, Rishab. So this is, the, this is the header that is basically now providing everything that it is a text type slash HTML. When, when, what is the cache control in it? What is the server that is providing it? Up to so on. But we'll be discussing each and everything. Uh, with the with the passage of time, when we'll be just going through the rest of the lectures, we'll be just trying to do that. Now, after this curl, we are going to curl. Oh, okay. That uh, right now it, it does not matter. It's just not uh, don't don't worry about it. It's not telling us the right age, as as we never tell uh, tell anyone our right age. But again, anyhow, let's see. Let's do one more thing. Come here and you write HTML. Okay, have you, write, have you written down HTML? Uh, uh, Rashid, you are talking about what that you are downloading and it, that it's not working? Oh, curl is not working for you. All right. So uh, what is the problem that you're getting? Maybe some of your friends can solve that because uh, different people have have like face this different problem so might be someone will be able to able to help you out because they have also faced the same problem okay so sofian says that i uninstalled winzip so there was winzip was hindering or doing something wrong anyone else can help uh, nashin out because nashin is having some problem still nashin says that okay nashin so but again uh, Rashid, it's something that you can, when you just look at the video, you'll just find out that what you are doing, right? I hope you won't miss anything. Okay, right. Uh, so now I would like to tell you something very interesting. And uh, everything is interesting, but now we are talking about the query string. Query string is something very, very, you know, important and very, very interesting. Let me tell you what is a query string first. You go to your web browser, you write www google.com right and sorry and put a question mark and write q equal to start or whatever everyone please do that google.com question mark q is equal to cars have you written down that and now you press now you press enter oh, okay sofian i'm waiting i'm waiting
okay yes this is good and now press enter now what it is doing if it has then put it like put cars technically inside that that uh, that search window and for example you can now do do that question mark equal to and this will be open opening the cars for you now what is what is query string within a web browser when you have okay just let me let me check one thing q equal to cars okay still it is it should it is supposed to you know take it to directly to that but i don't know why it is not taking but anyhow it is just placing that okay no how anyway it, it is supposed to you know do what it is supposed to just basically take us to the first page but it's not taking but anyhow we'll just we'll see that what is this question mark and q is equal to r it's basically it's it's called query query string a query string is something that is embedded with our web browser and it does a very important part of uh, like it it constitutes a very important part of a web browser let me give you another example we we just uh, sometimes before we open this html over here you remember we have we have got this html over here now you all of you just come here write question mark action equal to edit you just press that okay so you do not have permissions right now it's not allowing us to to work on that maybe let me just see why it is not allowing it was allowing me to do that for example when search we search down okay okay this is windsurf action, action equal to edit okay uh, maybe you can you can check something else sometimes some pages are, are are basically you know locked but some others you you might might find you know what has happened action is equal to edit it has given me the facility of editing this page i can start editing this page in on wikipedia you see here there are lots of lots of things over here do you see everyone how how powerful this query string is that query string will be just changing all over the things that we are what we are using another very interesting thing okay i'm talking about windsurf and now you use use skin equal to modern oh we have changed the look of the uh not not for everyone kuch one uh, it's it's an interesting thing because why uh, right now i am interacting with this wikipedia page from my browser so it will only be done for my browser i hope you are getting sense of it so it is not it is not something for everyone yes current session yes john you are right uh jora you what do you mean by gross so what is the exact definition of query string okay i'll give you i'll give you the query string i'll give you the query string definition mark this is very good question <laughs> okay so and and there is one another i don't remember there are there are few other other themes as well that might be that you might use okay jason yes when you when you talk about the edit uh, uh, like you know uh, when you talk about the action is equal to edit now you can try it out that yes now if you change something and if you go and save something you might be of course after some verifications after some something it will just allow you to just edit that right and it will allow you to just save that but again what we are doing here and changing the skin by using for for ourselves so i say use the skin equal to modern and if i do that so the skin has changed and again it has changed for myself in my browser it has been changed right i'll i'll tell you i'll tell you to play something very interesting uh, more when we'll be just moving moving to next next uh, next things and that that would be very very interesting hopefully everyone is is getting that so let's let's have a let's have a quick okay code is a part of the client side but you change stuff within the code and press submit it will see by it will be seen okay 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 so now as you say that will it will it be seen by the everyone okay so what you can you can just check that like whether it has been checked by okay right i'm just coming to your question rishab what does that do 
Okay. So do you find that it's, it's doing the same or this is skin? So what it has done, Risha, first of all, let me let me show you. I'm just cutting this off. I'm just cutting this off. Cut. And then I will show you. So see, uh, Rishabh, right now this, this Wikipedia page is with its own styling, with its own default styling. But now if I do this one, and if I paste this one, if skin is equal to modern, you see that Wikipedia's style is basically different. Rishabh, you got the point? But please bear in mind that it is not changing for everyone. It is changing for my session, for my right now, because I am just asking it to change the skin. And it is changing for it. It is changing that skin for me. Right. So I hope you all understood what we are discussing. Wasn't that interesting? Everything. Right, Samuel. Yes. So that's that's very good. So now what we are. Okay. So now what we are doing is that we'll take a quick uh, maybe um, eight to ten minutes break. It's two twenty-two in my my clock, and I'll be back at around two thirty-one or two thirty-two. So I'll be taking a 10 minutes break. You also take a 10 minutes break. Maybe go and stretch out. What's the use? Oh, uh, uh, you are talking about the use of query string, Maru? You're talking about a query string? Yes. OK. So take this question with you. I will come back and answer this question first. You and someone also asked. I think Mark asked, what is the definition of uh, what is the definition of query string specifically? I'll give you exact definition of query string, as well as I will just give you after the break. Thank you very much. And we'll be back after the break.
All right, so we are we are back. Hopefully everyone else is also here. Let me just put a message on chat window. So everyone can put a message in chat window. So that again, Parok, thank you. Yes, this is good. Rishab, I can I can see you. I can see you. That's pretty good. Okay. This is good. We can see Jacob. Jacob, I can see you. Your thumbs up. Okay. So uh, I will start for, with a question that was asked by two students. Like I think it was Mark and then it was uh, I think Maro. And they were asking that what is the uh, query string, like the exact definition of the query string. Let me share my screen and then I'll discuss it with you. All right, so you can see my screen now. Just make it a bit bigger. Okay, so see here what is the definition or what is the description being given over here, and then I will just I will just move uh, move on that. It says query string. Question mark Q is equal to course slash web two 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 and additional parameters sent to the server as part of the URL of the form name is equal to value. Now listen about it. Query strings are additional parameters. It's just like function. You remember what 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 was the purpose of function? Like what was what was the structure of function? What was the prototype of the function? If you remember, the prototype of function used to be that function used to accept some parameters. So when you are just running or when you are just accessing a URL, you are basically, for example, if you look here, for example, you are finding that there is a URL. This is a URL, but there is nothing being associated with URL in front of it. There is nothing being associated over here. Now, what is that? It's basically showing that it does not have anything. But when you when you talk about, as I talk about, for example, Google, talk about Google.com, and as I write written down, cars, and I just press enter. If you take this this uh, this uh, you know URL. Now let's talk about this URL, and I'll show you that where this Q is equal to and what 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 thing has been added over there. So now I'm just moving on. Okay, so see here uh, that we have this, this, you, you see this one, Q is equal to cars, at Q is equal to cars. So it's basically an extra parameter. Like again, if I, if I, if I just do it once more time for everyone's understanding, control A, I write www.google.com. You see my google.com and there is nothing, in, nothing embedded with my URL. Everyone can see that. And after that, if I write something, if I find cards, for example, and if I just click on it, my my URL, it becomes very, you know, it, it has all lots of data. And in that lots of data, if you see, this is the one which is which is taking my text over there. Q is equal to cars or and OQ is equal to cars, whatever. So what are the what are the query strings? Query string are all those questions, all those uh, set of variables, source is equal to HP. EI is equal to UKV, so on. Q is equal to cars, OQ is equal to cars, and something like that. And you see that these URLs keep on going, 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 going. We don't know where it will stop. And let me tell you a very first virus, not virus, a very first interesting thing that you might create for your friends. When you first create your, uh, you know, uh, your dynamic web page, a website, what we do is that we, we display a form to our friend, and we say that put your ID and password in it. And our friend put password and ID, and it shows that ID uh, the password comes in a status, 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 status. But when when they click submit, that password goes in an original form from the URL. How many of you are getting this? What I'm saying, like again, you create a form and you ask someone to enter their password, and password will be coming into status, 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 like you know, star, star, star. But when you yes, you can call it phishing or whatever you are calling. It's not a phishing typically, but it's again, it's making fool out of someone that. Someone will be entering their password in the URL box, in, in the box, in the text box. But when they press enter, you know, uh, you will see that that data is going upward in, in your. OK, let me let me just show that example to you because you have already worked in it. So I will just show you something interesting. And and today, by the way, I will just ask you people also to open up this doc, uh, like uh, this software and we'll be working in that software. But let's first do that. 
Have you seen that we have worked in a one, one HTML page? And again, right now, I'm not considering that you people know anything about it. Please don't worry about it. And I want to show you something. So I want to show you something inside this body. And again, please, please be, and never be uh, like a uh, problem that what is going on. So I will just let you know everything. Method equal to get. And that's good. And then input type is equal to text and name equal to name. And like that, this is enough. And then let me do. I, I'm just showing you what I'm just saying. So you will know that what is importance of query string. Input type equal to password, name equal to PWD. And a submit button, input type equal to, and please, 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 again, never be confused what is going on because I will tell you each and everything, and I will discuss this all with you, always. Don't worry. Okay, so let's come back and run that. Okay, do you see here? There is something, two fields over coming over here. And now what I will do, now what I'll do, I'm placing, for example, Norman, my name, and one, two, three, four, five, six. It's a password that no one knows, right? Now click on this submit. <laughs> can you people find my password? Is there anyone who can who can tell me my password? What is my password? Which I was trying to hide from the people, but now people are able to see that. Okay. So it looks like everyone is able to see my password now. And All right, looks like I'm back. I'm, I'm sorry about that. My laptop, sometimes it it really becomes annoying. Thank you very much, Yona. Thank you very much. Yes. OK, now you, you would be able to see me as well, Seven, right? OK, so uh, yes. So now, did you people realize what is going on? So I have told you that what is basically uh, the, uh, OK, I'm not sharing my screen, yes. 
right to and let me share my screen too with you people <laughs> Yes, screen share. I'll, I'll do, I'm doing screen share. Thank you very much. I know that I'm not sharing the screen. Right, so it looks like all good. Now you, you can see my, my page. And I said, as I said to you, that you can always see my password. For example, so I've just, from my side, I've just saved my, I've, I've uh, like, uh, you know, this password is hidden from everyone. But you can see that this password is basically going in that for, in that form. And you can see that. So query string typically is that like that, that which, which will just show everything to, to the user. Or maybe it is extra parameters that you want to send with your page. And these extra parameters go to the other page. And these extra parameters can play a very important role. You saw when in Wikipedia we were talking about that when, when I wanted to edit something in my session, I just sent some other parameters with that wikipedia or something okay now now this, there is one another thing last thing to discuss about before we go into uh, practically something interesting okay in that i am just asking for example html again i've just searched html okay now i want you to i want you to just uh, uh, you know experience something very interesting and this will be last example from us i want you to experience something very interesting i have seen here some some information and i have clicked on that when I clicked on that, what has happened to my URL? Can anyone tell me what is changed in my URL? If you are able to see that. What is changed? There is something called hash has appeared. Yes, HTML was added. No, HTML was added, but as well as if you see this hash, like this number sign, this buffer sign, do you realize that there is a buffer sign now? Now, what is this? It is called fragments of the page. And it's a very important topic when we will be discussing HTML. I will ask you to just make a, a fragment and then connect to the ref fragment. Now, what is happening is that when, I, when I'm clicking on it, OK, two things. When I am clicking on this element examples, right? right this second link, 2.1.1. If I click on it, I get element examples. And this is hash, hashtag over here. You see this hash? Now, what is happening? When I, when I press back, I am on the same page. So I am just forwarded to some of the fragment, but I've not changed the page or I've not sent another request to the to the page, uh, to the to the server, for example. And when I say, for example, question mark, action equal to edit, for example, if, if I say this, so when I am accessing the query string, Intentionally, what I'm doing is that I'm going back to the server and requesting something from it. I hope it is making sense to you. But when I am clicking something inside a page, a link, it takes me to the fragment. This is called fragmented. So now let me let me give you a very interesting thing. Uh, for example, if I press a back button and there is an HTTP email, something. This is the link. Okay, I copy it. Control C. Okay, no, it's not a it, it's not a universal mark. You are asking that whether whether a query command is universal or it depends on the website creator. Uh, queries syntax is universal, and there are a few things which are universal for query, but it all depends upon the developer who is developing a website creator who will be developing the website that how they want to pick that how 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 they want to use those query strings in that. Does that answer your question, Mark? Okay, Control C. I just copied it. And I've just come to the next browser and I've pasted it. Okay, what has happened? Do you, do you understand what is going on? Am I directly being taken to that fragment area which was which was copied with hash sign? Mark, do you realize that? Or anyone? You see what happened? I'm just closing it. I'm just closing it. I'm just copying this one, control C opening a new browser or maybe uh, maybe opening a new browser maybe i'm going to uh, chrome and i will i'm inside chrome what's happening can anyone tell me what is what is going on it's basically taking me to that particular specific area and this typically is called internal or external linking also by fragments why because this is the area of a fragment you see that this is a complete document 
but you remember how, where it took me it directly took me over here when i press control v and press enter is it directly taking me over here are you people getting what i'm trying to say you people that this hash would play a very important role in making page in making links on the pages that's very good rajveer also knows that that's very good so that's right now all i wanted to discuss about url i hope you have enjoyed this url sort of thing and i hope you have learned a lot new today is is that is there something that you have learned a lot new or maybe you have learned something new today okay okay so that's very good so i will i will take an ex exit ticket from you okay john luna uh, that's very good that now you know lots of things taking to a specific part of yes exactly maru so that is basically what we are connecting to a specific area of the web page and we don't want to connect to the whole web page rather we want to we want to take it to the specific area okay jason this is that's very good that you already knew few things so you will you will enjoy more okay now we are talking about and now we are we are we are moving to a steward something else let me just close all these things and let me just jump on to our course page which is which is where which is here and let me just <laughs> okay mm -hmm. let me just bring that and we were on web 222.ca just come here and now we are talking about this one okay and then uh the software that is that are required for this particular thing uh, okay right so uh the software that are required for this particular thing uh, let me just open up uh, something interesting and i will share it with you oh okay uh i i hope you are still able to see me i hope i hope i hope there is nothing wrong has happened with me okay okay thank you thank you very much okay so now i want to share something interesting right so the first thing that i need from all of you is a web browser so should i expect that you all have web browsers installing your so we are talking about softwares that are required for running these these programs or everything over here so the first software or first thing that i will be needing from all of you is web browsers web browsers okay so what web browsers i will be expecting at least from you people chrome firefox and this is all this is this is common for everyone because you can install it in 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 windows in in mac and everywhere and you 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 will be having safari as well if you are working in in mac as well yes you will be needing more than one someone is asking that whether we will be needing one more than one yes why because we always want to check our 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 web page with more than one browser you got my point who so someone was asking that whether whether we are required to have more than one yes kushwat you need to have more than one so that you know that uh, what is going on so you need you need to have web browsers and and related to web browser i wanted to discuss something very interesting and web browsers are are one of the very very interesting thing and i will just let you know that how you will know what thing is supported in what web browser i will just let you know shortly and then after web browser what i need you is is a, an editor visual studio code have you people installed this visual studio code before anyone visual studio code yeah this is good khushwant you have got jacob so what is the benefit of visual studio code over the others can anyone tell me yes you can use xcode as well andre since you are on mac yes uh so you you, you have you have you done that maruk vs code or you are you have only done visual studio you say okay so visual studio code is a bit different one can anyone tell me what is the what is the benefit of what what is that vs visual studio code it's 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 a bit different like in the way that it's very lightweight and it's usually it's sometimes it it sometimes yes it sometimes acts as a as a for example you know by itself it becomes a browser or something so it's a, it's a very lightweight lightweight editor and i would like all of you to have this visual studio installed in your system and the last but not least what i would like all of you is that you have installed node js which is something very interesting and i would i would not uh, maybe uh, like i will i will just introduce it uh, node js to you people so i need to you i need you to have web browsers maybe two or three yes js meaning javascript you are right node js is node javascript you are right uh samuel uh, i would like you to have visual studio code specifically 
Uh, okay. So download links for this this one. I will I will just uh, Jonah. I will just share those download links with you right now. Uh, Visual Studio Code because they they are not there, but you can do it right now because I will be asking you people to to do that right now. Okay, so if you do not have Visual Studio Code, the first link is coming your way. You just you should just start. Okay, your Visual Studio 2009. You were you were asked to use in that, but uh, Khushwan, believe me, when you will start working in Visual Studio Code, you will start loving it. Okay, so Nushreen, first of all, you need to have browsers, which you which you typically you would have already. You will have Chrome, then you will have Safari if you are on Mac. You will have uh, Firefox and so on here, and then you need Visual Studio Code, for which I have shared the link with you people. You can just download that over on there. And for Node, I will tell you. So first of all, those who do not have Visual Studio Code, can they install it correct quickly? And let me know that yes, now they are done installing that. And I will show you Visual Studio Code. This is the Visual Studio Code in which I was working uh, uh, some time before. I was working in this Visual Studio Code at that time. So can you people install that Visual Studio Code? Okay, Zelalim is already has. Noshin already. Uh, Noshin says thanks. Noshin maybe has this already, or maybe Noshin wants to install it. Oh, Zelalim, this is good. Yes, I'm expecting you to use, to have used this in first semester because you can use it for variety of the variety of the programming, and it's, it's far more beautiful. That's very good, Sofyan. You can install that, and you would realize that it's a very lightweight version of of the Visual Studio. And as I said, you will start loving it once you start using it, because it's not uh, all that heavy, you know, things that you need to you need to have when you are working on the Visual Studio Code. Excuse me, uh, Professor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the uh, Visual Studio Code is like is that the same with the uh, Visual Studio 2019? Or is that a different? No, it's different. It's different. Who is that I'm talking to? Oh, I'm I'm talking to. Uh, yeah, I'm talking to you. Oh, I'm. I'm. Oh, what is your name? <laughs> I'm just asking your name. Oh, you asking? You asking me? My name is Charlie. Sorry. My name is Charlie. Ah, uh, Charlie. Try. So try Visual Studio 2009, uh, 19 or 9, whatever you are talking about, is a very good software. But Visual Studio Code, uh, I would recommend you to install it and start using it from today. And as I said, some of them who have used that, it's a very lightweight. It's a very easy to use and. It's a, it's a, it's something that that you would as I said that you would start loving, at least for web development, right? So try. I would request you to just install that, and uh, I think uh, Sufyan has already done it. And yes, so I would be looking for everyone. So please, go, those who have already installed, maybe other than Sufyan, can they just quickly just refer that yes, I am ready, ready with Visual Studio because now I will ask you to install. Uh, Node.js. Node.js, I will tell you. I'll let you know. That's very good. Visual Studio Code, Jason. Bear in mind, I'm talking about Visual Studio Code, not Visual Studio. Okay. Okay, Jason. Thank you very much. This is good. This is good. Right. Okay, now there is something that I want all of you to follow me up, and we will be just uh, like uh, I will just uh, tell you that how how, uh, how you will install that particular software, which is Node.js, and let me just come to it. So this is this is this is a as I was talking about this is our Visual Studio Code. I was not sharing my screen. I'm sorry. I thought I was sharing my screen. Okay. Okay, Node.js, Node.js download. Let me just quickly bring that link and then I'll share that link with you. Okay, so we've got our link over here. And let me just, oh, where has my meeting gone? Uh, here is my meeting. All right. So now I'm just copying and pasting this. Okay. What are you asking? 
do I download the Windows installer or the Windows binary? Okay, okay. I'll just let you know. Just just wait for it. Wait for me. And I will be I'll be telling you each and every step for that. Okay, first of all, first of all, what is that? What is that? There, there are two types of versions of this uh, Visual Studio uh, at that time, but when we are just downloading it. So this LTS is is you know the 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 version that has all those tested and everything. So there are there are known latest and greatest features, but all those latest tested features, all those features that are that are typically available, all are there. So I would request you to just go and install this LTS. If it is your Windows, you will be doing Windows. If it is Mac, if it is whatever, you can just go to the Windows if you are if you are talking about, and it will download that. And I also already have downloaded this one, so I will just I'll be just showing it to you. Okay, what was Jason's question? Windows first. So you have to install Windows installer, Windows installer, MSI, right? Okay, and then with all those, you know, uh, the, what do you call uh, default settings, you just keep on installing it. You just install it. No, no worries about any settings. You just keep on next, 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 and you should be good about it. And I'll tell you that how would you know that your node is successfully installed or not? Uh, okay, so as as long as it's not asking something in, important and these are optional, you can just leave that out. Leave that out, Jason. You can just yes, leave them out. Okay, and after installation, if you see something like this as my screen, you are successful. You will see V14 or V15, whatever whatever is coming. That's very good, Andre. Andre, you are successful. You have 15-4, uh, 15.4, and I have 15.3. But again, that really does not uh, matters that a lot. But again, this, this requires us requires us to be here. Installer, installer, same way. All right, so I'm waiting, everyone, that. Are you able to uh, so installer? You have to install Node.js installer for Windows or Windows or whatever you are working on. Installer, not binary. Oh, that's very good. So Sufyan, you, you can see the same screen as mine. Sufyan, that's very good. That's very good. That's very good. Now we will just start uh, a few things and I will be just discussing a few important things before. We will just wind it up, but there are a few important things that I wanted to discuss with you people. Okay. Okay. So which one? That means there is there is something there is something wrong with you. Yes, restart the command. Yes, you are right. The command uh, command mode should be restarted, and you will you will see that because you know it sets up the path variable. You would be familiar with the path variable, environment variable, environment variable that we set. So if uh, uh, okay, that's very good. It means JSON. It was creating problem for you, but now yes. So if if it was installed, it would have it would have of course uh, need that. Okay, this one. This is very good. This is very good. Now looks like you are okay. How would I know the things that I'm going to use over here are supported by some browser? Uh, either supported by or not supported by the browser. So now, please, everyone, I'm, I, I'll just come to this not note thing, and we will run our first program for sure today. We'll be just running our first program, and we'll be just uh, trying to just run that that first program for us. So today, we'll be just doing that. All right. So now, if I if I if I come here, if I come here and you write. Can I use dot com? Can I use dot com? It is same the browser issue that you I was talking about. So there are a few things that we, we can check. For example, what 
what is supported by which browser you can always check it before before working on that for example if i ask you to make frames or something and you you want to you want to just you know uh, find out that whether it is been supported by now but supported by something or not so that for that you will you can use can i use so if i write in can i can i use you can see there is this is uh, given webp is a new image format that has been used just recently so if you write webp you see here it will tell you which browser supports it webp is an image format that is not supported by even 11 11 of internet explorer uh, webp is some which, which is supported by edge in 18 18 uh, 18 to 86 and 87 support firefox 2 to 64 not support 64 23 and 85 chrome and all these browser that you have yes it's a image format webp is a image format it's a it's a latest image format you see here based on vp8 video format that supports lossy and lossless compression as well as animation and alpha transparency webp generally has better compression than jpeg png and gif and is designed to supersede them very shortly very shortly you will be you will you'll come to know that webp has just overtaken on those jpeg gif and those formats and there is one another thing elif elif So let's let's see what is AVIF and what is AVIF doing and how is, how much is it support? A modern image format based on AV1 video format, AVIF generally has better compression than WebP, JPEG, PNG, and GIF, and is designed to supersede them. It is also designed to supersede them. But you see here, AVIF is not supported in Edge at all. And, uh, Firefox is only 86. Firefox is supporting that. Chrome, it's uh, it's these these are the versions that are supporting this. Safari is not supporting it. opera is supporting 71 and 72 and there is no other browser which is supporting it okay so there are lots of lots of things that you can check i want to check that i want to use frames so maybe frames are are supported or not web windows api frames so it says that yes frames are supported by all maybe these all browsers and every browser so these are all supported by them and i want to know that for example i'm i'm using a head tag or maybe any tag that i want to use head tag is supported in which browser or maybe img tag or image tag for example image tag is being supported so image is something that is not directly supported in most of the browsers so yes so this is one very cool feature uh, i i maruk like written down cool yes this is very cool feature that you find out and this es es6 which is which is not something we are discussing right now but i will i will let you know what this es6 if i just write down es6 and see that es6 is supported or not so ie is 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 not supported in 6 to 10 and then edge it is supported and then firefox and then these all so you can you can all see that all these are supported and not supported like that so to to end our class and uh, to to just give you a bit of flavor of everything i would like all of you to just open up your visual studio code and open up a new file maybe right open up a new file and just don't worry about anything else and now save this file and it is saving at my desktop no issues i am i am calling it script.js we are creating our first javascript file right so you can just click on that and now what you can do is that just write down console dot log and you might try you might try hello all good people right and now save it control s then in there you have to save it save this one and now you have to just you have to just run it now you you come to the bottom Oh, okay not bottom i think you would you won't be seeing this so now you will have your window something like this maybe so what you have to do is that you have to go in in you you go in view and terminal you see view and terminal press view and terminal i hope you have done it and now come here and write write node write down node and script dot js Script dot js and press enter. Do you see the same output as mine? Sufyan says no. Sufyan, what is the problem? What does it say?
Okay, node is recognized. Okay, the term node is, node is not recognized. Good. Anyone else? And yes, it's not recognized. That's good. Jason, Jason also says node is not recognized. Okay, Khushwan can see the uh, the the go. Okay, just do one thing maybe. Okay, no, 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 no. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I, I I will just do that. Let me just. Okay, Samuel, I'll check that. I'll check that. It it was okay for you. So Vincent is able to run that. So Vincent, you have run it for the first time, right? Node dot js. It should it should display this hello guys. So okay, just just let's uh, because I will be just winding it up. So I will I'll just let uh, take data from some few people. That how many of you are able to successfully see that? So you may write a success or s or x would be enough. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's interesting. That's very interesting. You're right. <laughs> okay, so you know why it is it is it is basically so I have another script file which is running somewhere. I think in this hello world script. Okay, this one is running for me. You know, so it's running my previous file, and I don't know why it's doing that. <laughs> okay still it is running that one i'll have to just check that but anyhow do you see okay 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 rishab i'll i'll see i'll see that okay first of all just let me know everyone that now you people are able to see this uh whatever message hello all good people it should it should show, it should show hello all people Bear in mind that it's not running my this one file, it's running my another script file, and I'll set that up. But right now, what I'll ask every one of you is that um, maybe if during the week time before Monday, if I get time, I might, I might, uh, uh, I might be uh, throwing a small video lecture for you for some other things as well, just to have a just to have a quick review of everything that we have done, and also to have some JavaScript coding. So I might be I might be loading uh, like uh, uploading a video. Uh, if, if that is possible and I get the time before that. Uh, so if you get that video, you have to just look at that video before Monday class and we'll be discussing few things on Monday class about that. So now I would request or I would like all of you, if you can, if you want to just leave now, you can leave if you are all good with it. And if you have, if you have problem, we'll be discussing those problems and we'll be trying to solve those problems of the different people, right? So let's start with someone over here. Okay, so who else is having problem? Uh, just, uh, just let me know. Uh, Andre has said, okay, we have left the session. That's good. I'm now stopping recording so that.